Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Abbas Ali, your orthopedics faculty with Maro. And today we have Dr. Navanita Menoki over here who has secured rank four in INI set exam. And before I tell you anything about her, let me just tell you this one very important point that just one year ago, she scored 30,000 rank. And this is her immense improvement from 30,000 to rank four. Hi Navanita, how, how, how does it feel to score such an amazing rank right now? Sir, I feel thrilled and also not really believe that it has not really sunk in yet. Why hasn't it sunk in? I mean, why can't you believe that you have secured such an amazing rank? I wasn't expecting in the first place. And then throughout this preparation also, I wasn't really thinking I would be getting such a one-digit rank. Nowhere in but you, you must have worked hard. You must have put in the hours. You must have been studying and revising all this time, right? I've done yeah so you have done it and you are very modest and humble by saying that you did not expect this but you know what you put in the effort you will definitely get what you deserve now let me just start by asking uh, that you're a student from uh, government medical college calicut right yes. yeah so what happened last year why was your rank thirty thousand last year that was a rank with zero preparation without any orientation to entrance even i just okay. because i registered i just went in and gave the exam all right. So when did you start preparation for this exam? Uh, actual preparation I started after internship, uh, okay. towards the oh. end of July. 20, so just 20. like a typical student from uh, Kerala, internship is very hectic and you start your preparations after internship. Okay. So when you when you started your preparation, right, June, July, July, August, right? So you started with the, the question bank, the marrow question bank. So what was your um, strategy um, for using the marrow question bank? Can you help us understand uh, step by step what did you used to do with uh, the question bank? I didn't go module wise in question bank. Uh, main strategy was using custom modules. Whichever subject I finished reading, I did the custom modules of that in the initial phase. Towards the end, it was more of a mixed bag, right? Uh, not any specific subject mixed, multiple subjects clubbed together. I did. So, so, so you would re read the notes of the subject that you had, and then once you finish reading the notes, you would just make custom modules of that subject. That subject. Once I finish two or three, I'll mix it and do like that. That's how I. So you'll, you'll mix it for that subject only, or you will mix it with multiple subjects? No, whatever I've completed till that point. Okay, for example, can you just give me some examples? Suppose you're uh, finished reading uh, anatomy. Uh, so you do uh, custom modules for anatomy. And then what would you do? Do you do the question modules for physiology? And then you will mix anatomy and physiology? Right. If I've, uh, in the first phase of preparation where I've done just few subjects, maybe probably I'll be doing uh, that subject only. Uh -huh. uh, if I've completed anatomy, I'll do questions of anatomy. Uh, like in 100 as a, uh, and then once I've completed about three or four subjects, uh, whatever I've completed very recently, I would do the 100 questions of that subject. And also, I'll club the other four so that you... Awesome. So this is like a quick revision of the subject that you finished also recently. So staying in touch with all the subjects that you have finished in batches. Once I completed all the other subjects, it was like uh, maybe all 19 subjects together or like one day first year and second year subjects together next day okay so heavily yeah. relying on the question bank this is a wonderful strategy i want to know more about this i mean how did you go about the questions that were randomly arranged i mean the, since the the custom modules is not arranged uh, you know topic wise or subject wise now so it's just a random mix of questions so what was your strategy with that wouldn't you get you know a little confused if one question is from one topic or another question is from another topic I was looking at uh, like question banks like a mode of practice rather than adding content from that or like learning a topic using question banks. I was rather using it for practice so that you awesome. don't lose that. I mean, also, even if you have read something, you probably might have missed, might have read it, but you, you might have missed in between. Only when it is given in the form of a question, you will see, okay, this was what was meant here. So those realizations came from practicing questions. So it's very wonderful. This is a little unique. Na? I mean, approaching revisions and studying from the perspective of a question, that to all the questions mixed randomly. So this kind of gives you a real example, a real feel of the exam every day and every day. So it must have been a little more relaxing to go for an actual exam where the questions are again arranged half hazardly and you know, questions are mixed differently. That was the intention also. I, like, I wanted to be prepared for the exam like 
uh, when you're practicing in uh, modules which are already like fixed topic you know right yeah you are biased you are biased towards that topic you are biased towards that subject Awesome. So you've removed that bias. Now I want to understand by doing this, na, by doing custom modules, you must have had set of questions in every module that you would have practiced. How many questions were there in your custom modules? Mostly hundred. Okay, so you'd make sets of hundred. And how many would you do every day? Uh, towards the end, I try to practice like uh, maybe two hundred to three hundred questions in a day. awesome awesome so last... every day 200 to 300 questions being practiced randomly from all the subjects of preparation awesome awesome did you use any other uh, source like in uh, the custom modules there is an option of bookmarking the answers of the question did you use bookmarks to come back to review the information i did bookmark questions like i use the regular bookmark for uh, questions uh, like not previous year questions and the star for pyq that was my start star for previous year questions and regular bookmark for the things that you would forget or is important so how many bookmarks did you collect when you started your preparation uh, initially i was like uh, i did not want to make the number of questions very much like uh, i was thinking that maybe i would not be able to finish them all it march was the exam date proposed right mm -hmm. and i wasn't practicing much questions apart from pyqs in that phase my aim was to complete pyqs and but once it got postponed maybe i did a little more extra questions also other tags and so in the end i had about uh, 2000 bookmarks which uh, i don't think i have revised it completely before i revised my right. plan was to revise it only nevertheless 2000 is a decent number because people usually start with a lot of bookmarks and towards the end of their preparation they realize that those are not actually very hard questions so they remove the bookmarks and their numbers reduce wonderful now this exam that got postponed uh, from uh, uh, march your preparation must have been a little disturbed how did you overcome that it was actually disturbed i mean i don't know my uh, i had an idea there is a postponement going to happen like so i was training myself you shouldn't get disturbed by all this but then still then <laughs> it's natural it's natural to get distracted but you utilize that time properly na because your target was for neat pg and uh, and honestly this rank itself also was a little more distracting for you because your target was neat pg uh, in june but this this rank is a surprise and now your preparation is almost over it's over you don't have to prepare anymore once it got postponed i was like i wanted to do a i nic i mean i i need to hit my preparation with this exam itself that was my intention in the uh, in the beginning of that phase but then towards the end i didn't have the confidence i did not think i'll be getting a c which a uh, language wonderful. wonderful now what about your tests your test taking strategy did you take the subject wise test or grand tests uh, i have taken a few subject wise tests in between uh, when i finish subjects or maybe to uh, even during the revision period but uh, mostly i stuck with grand test uh, okay I so how many grand test did you take and what was your reviewing of the grand test strategy i started my first grand test uh, on the day of my preparation maybe the day before when i was ah. actually i came back from hostel and i gave the first grand test. okay uh, why did you do that why why would you take a grand test before starting your preparation i wanted to get into that flow Probably. yeah you wanted to get to that flow and more importantly you wanted to understand the baseline where do you stand right now and how far you need to go in order to get the rank you desire so you took that grand test and what about reviewing the grand test what was your strategy for reviewing the grand test uh i mostly focused on the incorrect questions okay i would finish review those that day itself acha so that day itself you would review the wrong answers wrong answers i would finish that day itself and then i uh, i used to mark questions while taking the test to uh, like guest options okay. that also i I'll, i'll try so to use do the it. guest tracking feature nicely so even if you guessed it correctly you would still review it yes sir okay and what about the ones that you knew when were correct you would leave them out uh no i uh, i have tried to review them all maybe not the same day uh, by the end of the, like that same week probably before within i a, uh, within a week the review of the gt would be over so what was your frequency of taking grand tests in the beginning and towards the end uh, in the beginning maybe every two weeks or even every 10 day i wanted oh. to take many tests i've i've done enough i've many i've taken many tests by uh, february uh, mid february and all i took every week 
every week. So after mid February, it was week after week. So now, did you see a gradual improvement of your score, or was there a lot of plateau and then a sudden jump in your score towards the end? It was gradual. Every step there was a plateau. Like you reach a score, you reach a target. Some, I wasn't really worried about that. Uh, uh -huh. Only in the uh, like during my preparation, I was like, I, I'm not looking at the score or anything. You just have to keep doing, keep sticking to the process. That's so so around two to three grand tests, your score would be stagnant and then it will take a second leap. So this is something I would want to emphasize for people who are watching this. Your, your scores will not suddenly jump. Right, and they will take a lot of time. So that's the latent phase. So in this latent phase, what actually happens is you're reading new subjects uh, to gain more knowledge, and so your score is improving. And at the same time, you're forgetting the old subject. So your scores will dip, and because of that increase and in dip, there is a stagnation. So your scores will stagnate for a very long time. But then once you have read enough subjects and revised the old subjects, your scores will start improving, and that is what usually happens towards the end. So till that actually happens, you have to be a patient throughout your preparation. Okay, so did you write the mock exam, the INI set mock that was conducted by Maro? Uh, yes, sir. Right. What was your rank in the mock? I had a rank of 47. So quite close to the rank that you got. Wonderful. I mean, it's amazing. It's how it's amazing how representative that exam actually is. Now I want to understand since most of your preparation was done based on the the questions and answers and practicing grand test and the review, the kind of quality of the answers that are given in the question bank. Uh, how what would you say is the quality of the answers on the question bank? Definitely, sir. It is the quality that uh, that gets you attracted towards doing more questions also. Because once you uh, like attempt a question, you get the explanation. You can probably have an overview of that entire topic with the, within the explanation itself. You don't necessarily have to go back to your notes every time. You can you can uh, attempt. You can just read what went wrong, and you can go go to the next question. That helps. So, so the explanation is not only to answer the question correctly, but also to tell you why the other options are not the correct answer on this exam or on this question. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, I want you to kind of take a moment here and advise your juniors who are watching this video to, you know, when should they start using the question bank and when should they start giving the grant tests? Because this is something that students or people who start preparation keep on asking us again and again. And I would like you to kind of answer this question on our behalf. Uh, my advice would be you have ultimately you're going to write a 200 question exam so that is the preparation that you should be doing from beginning itself so never shy away from uh, taking grant tests just because ranks may be bad they, let it be bad today so that you get better results on the uh, actual exam day so from, from the uh, initial phase itself it is better to take grant tests that that inertia will be gone having to sit for three and a half hours that process will get better with each test. And also, you can develop test taking strategies by taking exams only. <laughs> I'm a person who, like, I attempted about 198 in the final exam also. So, from the beginning itself, uh, like, I was trying whether aggressive test taking would work. That uh, in the starting phase, I had many negatives, but still, I used to attempt more. I wanted to know if that was the right thing. That you can practice in the grand test. You can see whether you're going in the right track or not. Also, so all the experimentation to see what works for you can only be done if you give more and more tests. And the experimentation of attempting more questions has worked for you. And you found out that that is the ideal strategy for you to secure a good rank. So I want to understand about these bands that are there. Na? So there is a band of questions. Na? There are parts A, B, C, and D in your exam. So how, what was your approach to these bands? Should you be very aggressive with each band because they are of limited time? When I actually took the exam, it was like in the first 25 to 30 minutes, I went through all the 50 questions. Awesome. And then uh, I attempted only those things which I was sure of or, or I could take an informed decision then and there. So I didn't have to think again or... Those questions I marked uh, and then came back. There were many questions which I had not attempted, or maybe it required a little bit more of like thought. If it required that, I'd go back to that again without attempt. So you Thank had you. ample time to quickly review all the questions, answer the ones that you're confident and the ones that you're able to rule out the options off, and then come back to review and answer the questions that you have left out. I felt like time was enough. 
time was in fact and then this is because you have been very aggressive test taker all your preparation and you kind of were in the practice of taking questions and answering them so if there is someone who is not exposed to these kind of questions on a daily basis they will definitely struggle so my sincere advice to all of you are watching this is take as many tests as possible and try to time your uh, you know questions so that you're you're moving it faster and faster okay so now coming to i mean your your hobbies what are the other things that you do apart from uh, you know studying so well and scoring such great ranks on the exam is there anything that you would like to share with us not so much sir during my college days uh, it, i was into acting and uh, in the programs that happened in college all right so you act have you i mean have you participated in some plays or short films or such play Thing, uh, the competitions that occur in the batch, things like that during my college days. Awesome, awesome. So this is an amazing, uh, you know, strategy that you have presented to all of us with the help of question bank and test and how to, you know, be aggressive with uh, test taking so that it helps you on the exam. And it was so nice talking to you. Uh, I just would like to know what is the specialty that you are trying to pursue here uh, after securing rank four on INSET exam. I'm thinking of medicine, sir. medicine aims really perfect so i think your preparation is over you don't have to worry anymore because i remembered you telling me before starting this interview your main agenda was not the rank your main agenda was the preparation should end <laughs> and, I'm, and i'm so happy your preparation has ended thank you thank you navanita for giving us your valuable time and i'm sure all of uh, your family members must be very excited to enjoy the rest of the day i wish you all the best and have a great day thank you so much sir It's been an hour. Bye-bye.